<laughs> something you're probably not gonna see in the US. I'm really excited to make this video for you guys because I have been sort of meaning to make this for more than a year, two years, oh my god. So this is really primarily meant to be entertaining, but it is going to be partially informative if you've never been to China before and especially if you're heading to China soon and just really curious about like what some daily occurrences might look like around you. And actually, if you are headed to China soon, I have a ton of content for you. I've got a ton of videos, including a VPN 101 video. So if you're totally new to VPN and you're like, why would I use an illegal service? The government's gonna catch me. Like you should definitely watch that video. I have vlogs from Beijing, from Nanjing. And I actually have a website as well that has a moving to China checklist, how to bike in China, like tons of resources. So check out the links below if you are headed to China soon. And if you have a question about something that you don't see that I've made content for, shoot me an email at laurenwithoutfear at gmail.com. So I'm from the US. I lived in China for about nine months in 2016. I was terrified to go before I went and it was so much less scary when I got there. However, there were things that I saw in China like semi-regularly that never ceased to entertain me. Also, I do need to inform you that at the time I didn't have a vlogging camera. I just had a GoPro and a DSLR and in a couple of the shots I was so new that I was like putting my finger in front of the lens. So forgive the terrible video quality on a couple of these clips. So without further ado, here are 50 common sites in China that you will probably never see in the US. Post offices that employ a paste and brush instead of any kind of sticky stamp. Bikes piled impossibly high with stuff. Apartment hallways and entrances that look so dismal. And then you get in the apartment and it's weirdly nice. I don't have a video of this and even if I did, I wouldn't share it with you, but there's a very common thing you're gonna see in China, which is kids' butts. I don't know, the way that they potty train in China is very different, so they tend to wear pants that don't have a back. How do I explain this? It's like if you left that seam open and the purpose is that the kids, when they need to go, they just go. And oftentimes like the grandparents will kind of just hold them on the street and they'll poop and pee on the street. And so yeah, that's two things. Actually, something I forgot to put on this list so you can make it 51 in your head is uh, men's bellies in the summertime. The, they just love to pull their shirts up and let that belly hang out. So much motorbike delivery, including McDonald's. What I like to call leaf brooms. Cars that are covered with random building materials in order to protect like the wheels and the top and everything. I don't know, I've just never seen this in America. Laundry hanging up in public places. Really interesting bike accessories like a blanket thing that you kind of put your arms into to keep warm and then a full bike poncho that you wear when it's raining. Vendors with product directly on the ground. Well, like usually in a basket, but I mean, they're on the ground basically. This video is not a great example because it's not that weird to see bread put straight into a bag, but I've seen like all kinds of foods, just they just put them directly into a plastic bag. I've actually even seen drinks poured directly into a bag and there's a straw in the bag. So you're holding a bag of liquid and drinking it with a straw. Megaphone ads. Yeah, I heard that all day in Nanjing, it was terrible. Public exercise equipment, giant trash piles. Shopkeepers like doing their work in the front of the store instead of inside or in the back. I've even seen people do metal work, like sparks flying everywhere, working on metal on like a public street while people drive by. Dogs in crazy outfits and or hairstyles and sometimes hair dye. One lane, two directions. And often this turns into, there's not enough space, but somehow we make it work. General traffic chaos. Are who everywhere. And I know busking is still a thing in the US, like people just play the guitar instead of the are who, but I just wanted to insert a clip of someone playing are who, okay? <laughs> Fancy buildings next to extremely not fancy buildings. Extreme storefront displays, like crazy amounts of flowers, balloon arches, red carpet. Um, smoking indoors. And I know if you go to Vegas, they smoke indoors, but I even volunteered at the children's hospital in Nanjing. And I don't know if I did much, so don't think I'm like some saint or whatever, but um, people were smoking in the children's hospital and in the elevators. This clip is from Hong Kong to be clear, but this is very common in China too. Just raw meat, out on display for anyone to touch and not in a fridge. Huge varieties of beautiful produce. So many types of vegetables, so many types of delicious mushrooms. I, that's probably the number one thing I miss about China. Synchronized group dancing. I think everyone knows about this by now. Skewers on skewers on skewers. And just generally street food everywhere. A lack of helmets. 
Tour groups with matching hats. If you're a Westerner and you see a group of tourists and you don't have time to take 50 pictures, run. Umbrellas in the sun. I think this is probably normal in a lot of places, but for me in the States, I'm way more used to people like letting all their skin show in the sun. Trees that have white paint on part of the trunk. And I found out later on that this is actually a form of pest protection for the tree. This is the saddest one, so I'm really sorry, but um, vendors that sell really tiny animals, like tiny bunnies and tiny hamsters and tiny turtles, and they're clearly not kept in the nicest conditions. Also, I totally almost got a turtle one time until I realized that like I'd have to give that turtle to someone in my will, and I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment yet. People standing in the intersections, just standing there. No one's worried, this lady doesn't have dementia. She's just doing normal things that you do in China. The whole family on a scooter. This is actually two adults and a child. Vendors selling things out of the back of a bike. Very strange selfies. Let's have another look at that one. Fruit stands, like everywhere. Masks, uh, not just for pollution, but for warmth, all kinds of things. I don't have a video of this, thank goodness, but warm beer. <laughs> Yelling at wet markets. <laughs> Apparently this is something out of like old Chinese tradition. A couple that I don't have video clips for would be um, like old men gambling or playing mahjong. And there's like eight of them gathered around this table all looking at the same game. It's pretty cool. I'm sure some of my Beijing vlogs have it in the background. Also park gatherings. I watched a super interesting Serpensa video one time about grandparents, I think it was, trying to set up their grandkids with each other in parks. It's really interesting stuff. People yelling at their waiters at restaurants, that's completely fine. Fu Yuan! Contraceptives at the checkout counter. This is actually something that was put through by the government. Squatting toilets, that's one that everyone knows about, but generally there's just a lot of toilets, like lots of public toilets in China. We don't have that here in the Bay. Blind massage. I still don't really understand. People fighting over the bill, like really fighting over the bill, like physically pulling each other back and shoving money to the like cashier. And lastly, red banners that are messages from the government to their people. <laughs> Something you're probably not gonna see in the US. So I hope you enjoyed this rapid fire list of 50 things that are very common to see in China, but not so common in the US. And if you wanna see more of my videos about China or from the time that I was living in China, I have a ton of links down below, so be sure to check those out. I've also been really active on Facebook and Instagram, so go be sure to follow me there and subscribe if you're not already. And I think that's it. So I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.